All right, in part four of sketching a fashion flat in 20 minutes-ish, uh, we're gonna just add the finishing details. If you didn't see parts one, two, and three, that's what got us to this point here. So definitely watch those, they're all linked below. And if you have, let's dive right in. So the last thing I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna add a thick outline around the garment. It just adds a little pop and I'm gonna give it a nice drop shadow. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the layer off that has the actual garment that we traced over on it because we don't need that anymore. And I do have my fur on a separate layer, which is nice right now. I've got my garment locked on the other layer. I'm gonna select all of this. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna deselect the actual outline of the collar and I just want the fur selected. I'm gonna group that Command or Control G. And you'll see why I'm gonna do that in a second. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the actual outline of the collar, Command or Control X. I'm gonna come down to the actual layer that has just the jacket on it and Commander Control F to paste that in place. And so now my fur itself is on a different layer than the rest of the jacket. We're just gonna turn that off right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything, Commander Control A, and I'm just gonna group this in its entirety, Commander Control G. Once I've done that, I'm gonna add my thick outline. You do this via the appearance panel. I've got mine right here. If you don't see it, it's under window appearance from your dropdown. We're gonna click the drop down here on the appearance panel and we're gonna choose add new stroke. Now at first this is gonna do some really weird stuff and you're gonna be like, that's not what I want. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hover over the layer that is the stroke and you're gonna drag it under the contents layer. Now for this to work correctly, your objects within the artwork do need to have a fill color. So your fur and your bodice and the belt do need to have a fill color. Otherwise weird things are gonna happen. They also need to be grouped as one entire object. There's a video on that linked below specifically on doing this step by step. Once you have that done, let's change our stroke color to a little bit thicker. And that's where we get that nice thick outline, which looks so good. And I'm gonna change the cap in the corner to round. That'll just soften the edges. And now I can turn my fur back on. If we did this with the fur, we would get all these weird little pointy jagged edges and it just gets harsh. I've done it before and I don't like the way it looks. You can play around with having the fur either inside that group with the thick outline or not. Um, once we've done that, we can then group everything, Command or Control G. And let's just add our drop shadow. So effect, stylize, drop shadow, and turn the preview on. Now, drop shadows are a little heavy. You can even see my computer took a second to think about that. Um, if you do use them, I suggest using them for presentation or portfolio purposes only and adding them at the very, very end. It should be the last thing you do. Don't try to be fussing with your artwork with drop shadows on. They are clunky, so turn them off or delete them and then add them at the very end. Uh, so there we go, okay. And we've got a really nice looking sketch in 20 minutes or less. So again, any of the tips that I showed in this whole tutorial series. I have specific videos for almost everything that I went through. They are all linked below. So check out those individual videos if there was one part that you got stuck on. Uh, again, this was just showing you what it looks like to sketch a flat in 20 minutes because this is what brands expect you to do and this is how fast you need to work in order to get your job in the fashion industry. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, you can grab the free download of this jacket or the trim library, which I am giving you as well in the link below um, in the description of the video. Thanks so much uh, for more additional tutorials and insights on getting ahead in the fashion industry. Head on over to SuccessfulFashionDesigner.com. I share tons of tricks and strategies there that you don't see here on YouTube. Talk to you soon, bye.